Hello, Namaskar, Hola. Welcome to SRBPS classes. Classes where you learn, explore with fun. So, today we are going to take a very common topic of English grammar named noun. Noun is also called naming words. The name of a person, place, thing or animal is called noun. My name is Komal Jamni and I am your English teacher. So, what are nouns? Name of a person, right? I am a person. My name is Komal. So, Komal is a noun. I am having a chair. Chair is a noun. So, like this, for knowing noun better, let's go to the first worksheet. Stay tuned. So, students, this is our chapter 3, noun. So, what is noun? Noun is also known as naming word. What is noun is also known as? Naming words. Noun is also known as naming words. So what are naming words? Let's see. See the first line here. Look at the pictures and read the words. We have to look at the pictures and we have to read them up, okay? Let's read them out. What is the first picture is about? King. Right. Second picture? House. Third picture is of a? Mouse. And the fourth one is a? Flower. Right. King. House, mouse and flower. Now, let read the next line. The next line says, Noun are the names of people, places, animals and things. That means, nouns are the name of people, places, animals and things. Right? See the king here. King is a person. See the house here. House is a place name. See the mouse. Mouse is an animal. And flower is a thing. Understood? So, name of a person, place, animal or thing is called noun. Noun or naming words. Now, another examples are there. Name of a person? Baby. Name of a place? Chennai. Name of an animal or a bird? Crow. Name of a thing? Tomato. Okay. So, if your name is something, suppose your name is Raghav. So, Raghav is a naming word. Now, let's see the first question. The first question says, Write person, place, animal or thing for each picture. We have to see the picture and then we have to write, It's an animal, a thing, a person or a place. So, see the first picture. It's a parrot. It's a parrot. So, it's an animal. See the second picture. It's a kite. Kite is a thing. See the third picture. He's a farmer. So he's a person. Now see the fourth picture. A house. Like a house here. So it's a name of a place. Now next is our friend Jumbo. Elephant. So, an elephant is an animal. The last picture is of a baby. See, here is also written baby. So, a baby is a person. So, name of a person, place, thing or animal is called noun. Now, let's see the second page. So, in the second page, we will be talking about some more examples. Now, see, 
see all the examples for again uh, here is given the definition a noun name a person place thing animal and idea now let's see the examples person persons are children girl teacher parents baby boy these all are the names of the person so it's a so these are the example of nouns these are nouns now let's see place mountain beach zoo playground school these all are the name of the places now what are the things books cell phone scissor cup tree these all are the name of the things now let's check out animals cat bird mouse elephant lion these all are the names of the animals now last is idea love joy peace fair silence these all the name of the idea now we'll be doing the next worksheet of ours see this is the next next worksheet of ours let's see we all help you use word from the box to name us see these people are our helpers look at the first picture what he is doing he is mending the shoes the first return i mend shoes i am a cobbler he is a cobbler so cobbler is a naming word now see the second picture i stitch clothes i stitch clothes i am a tailor so tailor stitch our cloth again tailor is a naming word tailor is a name of a person now see the next one who is she let's read the sentence first i treat you when you are sick i am a doctor correct i am a doctor now next one i look after plants i look after plants i am a gardener i am a gardener who looks after the plants in the garden gardener now the next one is who is he yes i know you all know now the fifth one says i grow crops i grow crops i am a farmer he is a farmer so cobbler tailor doctor gardener and farmer these all are naming words these all are naming words now we'll be moving to our next sheet this is our next sheet so in this sheet we will be talking about the places name what do we call the houses of the animals where these animals live so house is a place name na so we'll see some of the places name see i build a nest i build a nest that means these birds lives in a nest now see the next picture here is our friend monkey okay he is jaggu red color jaggu so i live in a tree monkeys lives on a tree na now next one is see see here who is she she is a cow now what is she saying you keep me in a 
farm okay farm or a shed we can write shed also here i am writing for you we can write shed here s h e d shed we can write shed also now see the next animal the next animal is see here the little one it's a bee Bzz, a bee so what is she saying she's saying i build a beehive the house of a bee is called beehive now bee lives in a beehive you keep me in a coop see this is the hen and cock right so they live in a coop they live in a coop what is the house of hen and cock called coop next one see the duck here i live in a pond i live in a pond next one is our horsey nee now he saying you keep me in a stable you keep me in a stable next is our friend bruno next is our friend bruno bruno is saying you keep me in a kennel you keep me in a kennel so the house of dog is called kennel children see carefully this nest tree beehive farm shed coop pond kennel stable these all are nouns name of a place so these all are nouns so the name of a person place thing or animals are called nouns so see here bird monkey duck cow cock hen bee horse dog these all are also nouns because they are the name of the animals so i am telling you again what is the definition of noun the name of person place thing an animal is called noun so this was the topic noun i hope you understood well so keep practicing it's time to say goodbye bye bye dhanyawad thank you